Over the next uh, few videos, we're going to be modeling a torch in SolidWorks. Um, it's probably going to be more than a few videos. So let me show you a pre-made version of the torch that I made earlier. So here is, um, here is my torch model. Let's uh, section it. So you can see I've modeled the interior as well as the external components. So we have a spring, we've got some metal connectors, we have a switch, the bulb, bulb holder, a couple of batteries, there's a, a lens and a lens cover. So we've modeled both sides of the, uh, of the molded housing. The batteries and the torch are really just kind of like just shown for sizing really so yeah so let's uh let's start the torch project so here in my uh, part model you can see i've put together a bunch of template sketches to help uh, speed things up so i've modeled in 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 real size uh, a section of the of the torch the upper side um, and then I've put together a, a bunch of subsidiary templates to help us model the rest of the components. So, um, yeah, ske template sketch one has the uh, the main components. Template sketch two uh, had a bulb holder. And as you can see on the screen now, template sketch three has uh, some threaded components. So template sketch four, as you can see here on screen, uh, that has been modeled on plane one and that is for the bulb holder and um, sketch five if we look a bit closer is it's hard to see here but it's it's the body without a lot of the rest of the components showing around it so just going into templates the first template sketch you can see i've i fully constrained the sketch i've uh, modeled everything added my dimensions so everything everything here is modeled to full size so i mean we can do this in in cad um we leave leave it up to the cad drawings to scale show things to scale but we can model in full size so i've drawn a half section as my template because i don't need to draw draw both sides and i've drawn this on uh, the right plane so so we've we've done our background work we can start modeling so in sketch one i basically just did a convert entities of the um, sketch five so i'm now performing a revolve so i'm selecting my axis and my conversion of um, sketch five template sketch five i'm going to go 90 degrees in one direction 90 degrees degrees in the other and i have a half body section it's really important that i went 90 degrees in either direction because this allows me to continue to use my template sketches as you'll see in a moment But yeah, you can see I have a half body, a basic body to start working with. So overlaying template sketch, you can see it's it's dissecting the uh, the body section I've produced. So we can we can begin to sketch. So I now need a reference plane for my next feature. I'm going to show you my template sketch because I'm going to use it to link my new plane i'm going to offset from the top body parallel and then i'm going to pick a point the highest point of the template sketch so i've offset my plane two let's now draw a sketch on this plane so i need to add some geometry to my body
So I'm drawing a rectangle and uh, basically there, there's an upstand um, section which uh, we briefly saw in the CAD model, but it'll become obvious what I'm, I'm doing in a minute. So this rectangle, we're, going, we're basically extruding a section. Um, the switch is going to be mounted within this, uh, this housing section. So I'm just looking for geometry to constrain my sketch to, so my central line. Let's dimension, say 15 mil. Everything's fully constrained. So we just, we, you know, I just looked for lines bits, different pieces of geometry to just line everything up to, constrained everything. And now we can extrude our boss and we can extrude straight into the part that we've pre we've just molded. So we're gonna extrude up to a face, so the face we just highlighted pink. And uh, I've selected two contours there. And so you can see I've added this extra section but we need to get we need to move this as well so i need to extrude again so i'm sketching on this plane converting entities extruding boss and then straight into the light holder it's up to surface straight in yep happy with this geometry okay so we've completed our upstand section if we so you can see it matches this is all matching the template sketch so we've we've put together a side view you can put together different views if it helps and it, it's a way of modeling it's not the way but it's uh i found it quite useful for this tutorial to set my model up this way so you can see we've not hollowed anything out so we need to we need to kind of hollow this section out because it can't be solid it's a molded part so we're going to draw on the top plane we're going to offset we just selected the face two mil two mil internal offset that's getting in the wrong direction at the moment let's reverse it yep so yeah this needs to come along so let's delete the constraints and reconstrain it. Oh, this isn't quite working. Perhaps we need to, yeah, sometimes you need to move sketches around to turn things blue. Sometimes when you remove constraints, things still look fully constrained, but so we've just moved that. So let's cut through so we need to cut through this body now extrude a cut towards the outside offset from surface and we can offset by let's say two mil so we've got a uniform wall thickness two mil in two mil from the top when we do this there we go so we have created a cavity And this is good because we're going to lay up um, quite a bit of. Uh, we're going to well, we're basically going to lay up the switch, and we're going to lay up some metal contacts within this area. So this is, you know, a useful uh, area to have. <coughs> so let's just checking our template sketch. So. If you looked closely, you would see it matches. So you can, you, the wall area was already drawn out previously. So I mean, the template sketch. I basically I know, I know exact. I know exactly what I want to do from from my template sketch. So now we need to put. these bits back in 
So this is going to be uh, a screw holder or a screw mounting point, shall we say. So I've converted these features, these lines from the template sketch. I just have to rebuild some bits that I couldn't get from the sketch. It's constraint that was make that collinear. And I'm going to go in both directions. So I'm going to boss extrude and I'm going to extrude up to the surface in both directions. Pick this surface one, direction two, up to surface. Pick the surface. It'll make a little bit more sense why I'm doing it this way in a, in a little bit. So section it. So we're basically looking at a quarter of a side at the moment. Let's draw on the right plane again. We're going to create a sketch and we need to create the other screw holder. So I'm selecting some, selecting obviously the relevant geometry from my template sketch. I mean, it really has made it easier for sizing, for sizing up this model, putting together the sketch before I started the video. And feel free to experiment with your own, your own CAD model. An alternative thing that you could use instead of a, a modeled template sketch is you could actually import a JPEG or um, some kind of image and you can you can basically trace over that image and use it for sizing. That's, that's a different way of working. So let's just tidy up this geometry. That's not quite worked out the way I wanted it to. <clears throat> I think it might be because these lines don't actually match up. So the lines I initially thought were collidia are not. They're individual. So boss extrude one more time. Up to surface, pick surface, and in the direction two. Let's go in the other direction. Before we do that, I think, yeah, the, the, the surface I picked initially didn't quite work. I think there was some geometry sticking out through the wall. So now we can do side two. There we go. You need to check to see the effect on surrounding geometry when you go up, move up to a surface, especially when only a portion of your extrude is hitting that surface, as it was in this with this feature I just did. So back on the right plane. I think we might need to put together a reference plane here. Just thinking about how I want to do the next feature. 
I've got something I want to offset basically and uh, there's no geometry to match up to so I'm going to have I'm offsetting the plane okay And now I'm ready to go back to my template sketch for my next item. I'm basically, so this uh, screw holder or bolt holder, screw holder, I guess, um, I need a slightly bigger housing area for the actual screw head. But I need to match it up. It needs to be concentric to, to my to the, to the two bits I've, ju I've just produced. So I'm going to go with a 10 mil diameter housing section. Let's go up to surface. Whoa, wrong direction. There you go. But you'll see, see the up to surface, you can see it's gone through the body. So potentially the wrong surface to match up to this one. See that works, but you can see there's a little bit there poking through. We might have to try it just to see if it works. Let's have a look. And it did, it worked. Okay, so we just about got away with that. So if that didn't work, we would have had to have thought about a different way of modeling that section. So uh, remember we plane free. We're going to do the same again at the back. So a screw holder head. Screw holder, screw fixing point. I think it's really the screw fixing point to keep the two halves of the body together. Let's extrude. Got a lot of extrusions in this model. think we might need to go in the other direction as well so you can see that the sketch we've drawn actually intersects the actually intersects the body so we've only it's only extruded a portion into the surface so direction two the moment we're blind, going four million, could go up to surface and go up to this point. So we go just picked a line, and that looks that looks okay. I think maybe not. And we've got a piece of geometry sticking through, so that's not good. So we have to rethink how we're doing that. I think we're just going to skip direction two for now. We might come back to that because I'm not sure the bolt holder, the bolt or the screw head is going to is going to be far enough into the part. But we'll um, we'll come back to that. So as you can see at the moment, I've uh, my template sketch is still while still active. Just turned it off. We have a half section, and now we can. We can mirror this body because um, we've modelled everything that's going to be symmetrical realistically on, on both sides. It's going to appear on both sides. So mirror, and now we have a whole body section, and that is the end of part one. But in part two, we're going to add some detail to this uh, this body. 
bits and then and the model should get quite it should start to get interesting so see you next time